could have it so it like reverses in as well. It comes in. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Where Ellis in the Dennis video, I'm gonna show you how people like ATL Jacob and Southside make crazy beats in the future from scratch. If you're an OG, you'd remember that I actually made a video on this about two months ago, like when Future dropped his album. It seemed like you lot liked it, so we're just gonna follow up with some more sauce. Before we get into it, Crypto Mold Kit is out now. This is one of my best kits. I didn't think I had to set anymore. This kit is literally all my sauce to making crazy samples like I'll be making this video. And yeah, if you enjoy learning anything from this video, be sure to go leave a like, subscribe. If we hit 200 likes in this video, I'll be sure to go pull up on this again. Let's get to it. Yeah, starting off, this is a sample we're going to be breaking down today. Before I break down the sample, I just want to say that this video is actually sponsored. This video is sponsored by Diamond Dragon, which pretty much you can see it's the VST right here. It's got all these crazy sounds, which is actually really good for these sort of vibes. As you can see right here, when I was making this, I was for sure to have a few of those plugins. This is the first sound I'll be using. That sounds crazy. It's got stuff like this. And like the flute that I use as well, it's from this as well. So I really recommend this and I'm going to just kind of show this off as I'll break down the sample. So yeah, let's just get to it. So as for the first sound for the sample, it was like properly flipped. So starting off, this is what it originally sounded like with no effects. As you can see, it's not too difficult. What I did to make that sort of bounce was I used the third step bounce right here. I just used the C, D and the D sharp right here with the normal third bounce thing. Brought that all the way across, changed the D sharp to an F. And I kind of just made this sort of mid frequency melody, which I think is quite good for these sort of um, samples. I haven't really seen this too much. Add something which is like a octave down and then add like this little sort of sub melody right here. So as you can hear when it's playing. Adds like a lot more bass to the sounds. And after that, I literally brought this down for these sort of root notes here and I changed this up to a C. As for the preset as well, as you can hear, I got that sort of crystal crystallizer preset onto it already. As for effects though, the first thing I did was I put on this half time right here. I put 1.5 times bounce, which pretty much what this does is this brings it down 500 semitones and it adds a different sort of bounce to it. I brought this out and then I brought up 500 cents, so it's still the same key. And then I just chopped it into something that sounds a bit like this. You know what I'm saying? It's got a lot more bounce to it and it sounds a lot more energetic, you know what I mean? That's the main sort of base of the sound. And then after that, I added this second Diamond Dragon preset, which is this called the Holo 15 string. This is what that sounds like. A little change at the end. Really, all it is, it sounds a bit like a half-time version of the first melody, which pretty much it is. It's just like half the speed. Literally, this pattern there's nothing else to it. And as for effects, I put on a reverb, and I've hand this a lot more to the left since so the next sound, which is the flute, then pan a lot more to the right, so it kind of stereo shapes the sound. Brought out, and that's literally it. I actually use an analog lab right here. Believe it or not, if you haven't guessed already, it's from the Crypto Motor Kit. So this one's called Dark Knights, and all I did for this, I kind of used it as like a little sort of one-shot sound on the C right here, so that sounds like an own. And this is that brought over again and again and again. As for effects in that, I put a shaper box that pans it left and right, and it's just a stereo shaper, so it's a lot more like in the back and it doesn't really interact with the rest of the sounds, you know what I'm saying? So I've with the rest. You know what I'm saying? Like it kind of fills in some frequencies. So I think that's a really nice sound as well. So the next sound, I use this flute melody that comes in on after the first eight bars. This is that sounds like on its own. Literally all I did for this was I did a C minor chord right here as you can see here. I took away the third and I used the fifth right here. Kind of add this little strum preset and I just brought this up. That's literally it and I just changed the ends right there. That flute again, it's from Diamond Dragon. And as for effects on that, I literally just used a reverb. I took off some highs and some lows. Hand it a little bit to the right as I said earlier on. Again, it's pretty much full right here. Like there's not too much you really need to add. So as for the next sound, I added this again which is like almost like another texture. And this is what that sounds like. As you see right here, this is from Analog Lab. Real quick, go ahead and guess what bank this is from. 
Wow, you guessed right. As you may have thought, the Kritomoe kit. And so as you can see right here, it's a blocky preset, which is inspired by Des Wright. So all I did was I recorded that out, literally just playing one note, and I just automated the volume right here so it kind of like fades out. And as for effects on that sound as well, brute chorus as well, a shape box, which then also adds a little volume modification, zero shaper, and I boosted some highs. It's pretty much full right here. I don't even think I need this next sound. This sound, believe it or not, from the cryptic one shot kit. So it's this pad right here called Wolfpack. What I did was I changed the start a little bit so I had a bit less attack. So all I did right here, as you can see here, I played the C and I just brought up an octave. That was that simple. With that all being done, that's pretty much the melody right there. Um, I wanted to add a synth bass, obviously. As for synth bass, I used this right here, which is the proper ref2. I made a preset, just played this in right here. Yeah, if you don't have access to hardware and stuff like that, I recorded a lot of these out in one shot. I put them into my cryptic one shot kit. So as you can hear right here, got a lot of these sounds that you can't really find unless you really have hardware like this. It's literally like all I use in my samples, as you can see here. That is pretty much the sample. So yeah, again, before we cook up, shout out Diamond Dragon again. Do really recommend this VST. It's got some crazy sounds just like this. All right, so now we'll finish the sample. Let's cook up. This shit gonna be crazy, I'm telling you. I just wanna go for the normal, so ACL Jacob drums right here. Let's just stick some hats in. Stay for a normal two-step until we put some weights in. It's gonna be crazy. As for 808, we wanna go back to the Havoc drum kit. We wanna go for some sort of fast-paced um, 808s here. So nice. like at the end as well. Get some open hats in here. What about if we do this? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a minute. I'm gonna get some um, snare rolls in. Just like that. Uh, and then like we can pan it left and right. All right, now to arrange it. Have it so it like reverses in as well. It comes in. This 
me. Right, that's the beat. That's the beat. That's the beat. That's done. So yeah, that is how you make insane beats like ATL, Jacob, and Southside for people like Future from scratch. As you can hear, this beat came out crazy. So if you want another video like this, be sure to go leave a like, subscribe. If you get 200 likes on the video, I'll be sure to go pull up or something like this. Again, Crypto Mode Kit is out now. I didn't even have to break it down. Just, you know, Analog Lab Bank, one shot kits, and 30 samples, some crazy midis. You know the vibes. And thanks again to Diamond Dragon for sponsoring this video. There'll be a link down in the description to cop this if you guys want to get the BST. New video Friday. See you in the next one. Peace.